Good evening. I'm here be because they asked me to give my love, why I love this church for almost 50 years. I got involved in this church one thing after another, after another, after another, and it helped me grow character. It helped me to be a better person. So I jotted down some of the things that I kind of got involved in over the almost a half a century. I was fortunate enough to be 25 years of property chairman in this building. <coughs> I also led the renovation of the first time that we had it. There wasn't a thing in this building that wasn't touched internally. Now we have to work on the exter external part of it. Uh, from the sandings of the floor to the painting of the building for, to the new Raridos upstairs to new carpeting to the, re the renovations of the new Sunday school rooms curtains that we had up here you name it we did it and also the also the helpers that helped after I was involved <clears throat> I spent 25 years on church council let me explain 12 years I was appointed 13 years I I was involved every time there was a meeting because I was in charge of property all the issues were always pertaining to something in property so I would show up at every church council meeting for the other 13 years we were, <coughs> uh, I was communion assistant. I was honored to be a communion assistant for 25 years. Uh, our family was involved almost, I guess, close to 10 years uh, in a rummage sale. My daughter Kim and my daughter-in-law Shirley and er my wife and everybody, we were involved trying to help the church raise funds and everything else. We got involved in that. And then for 25 years, I had a partner, Els Davis, He helped, helped get a, a, a crippled man into a tub for 25 years with myself, who couldn't walk. It was such character building. He had, a, he had an aunt that was, that was really, really up in age, almost in her 80s. We did that for 25 years. I would call Els on a Thursday night. Hey, I'll meet you at Jake. It was Jake Feathers, by the way. He was a member of this church, and he also was a classmate of mine. That, to me, was building character. I say this because of the opportunities out there for everybody to get involved. Then I got involved with a, I like to say, a, a holy bum. And I mean that because he changed my life. He really got me in his, in his place. Pastor Muir asked for seven families to volunteer. He wanted to bring this guy, this, this guy back home from the hospital. <coughs> Why I say that is because everybody called him a bum. But he's the one that opened my eyes to the Lord. I saw people do things that, like the pastor at that time, who did things that not only has asked others to do, but he did them, did them himself. There were seven different families involved. I can't name them all. I know Carol was one uh, involved in it. Uh, we, when we went to his house, he had a cast, and it wasn't clean in how long. And we scraped and cleaned that place, taught Pastor Muir how to, how to deal with an open, with a hand fire uh, coal stove. Uh, and we worked and we got him up and running and he was he was the inspiration of my 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 spirit <clears throat> that also was from this church the beginning of meals on wheels that was in the 70s i looked it up in nationwide that's about when s different places were starting to do this N cola didn't have it lansford didn't have it hazel didn't have it we had it and it took off from there. So we should be proud of ourselves for, for that. Then I, the nice things I remember this church is Sunday school with Ann Livey. When uh, uh, we would not only come for Bible study, but we could bring our problems and lay it on the table and the group that we had 
would help that person or persons work out a problem and never have to worry that it was going to be talked about. I thought that was remarkable. I don't want to forget Jim Valentine, though. Jim Valentine, with all the renovations and everything, he was the guy that had to clean up and make sure the church looked presentable for Sunday. I, <clears throat> we, Carol and I, we belonged to Luther, we ran Luther League. We took the kids different places to the shore, different visiting to other churches, whatever. Then we formed the married couples. We had uh, that anybody could join that was married, up to 55. We would go on bus trips, we would go to buffets, we would go just have a good time, have retreats. And then when we got to be 55, we changed it to later. <laughs> I remember one of the incidences that at that time when we were married couples, Dave and Louise Shuck asked us, to, why don't we have a Halloween party? Why don't you come over our house? Well, those who remember, some don't, Pastor Muir, he had a yellow Corvette. And what happened was we dressed up in costumes. Pastor and his wife, Shirley, they dressed up in a gorilla outfit. He put the top down and drove through town to, to Shucks. The cops were at the traffic light, taking double and triple takes on what it was. And when he saw the yellow Corvette, they knew who it was. When we got to Dave and Louise's place, Carol and I, we were dressed up as a football player and a cheerleader. I was the, I was the cheerleader, <laughs> Carolyn was the football player, and I carried her in on my shoulder. Those are some of the good times that we, that we had. Uh, I remember they all formed all kind of groups, uh, ceramic classes and all this, and, and Shirley, Pastor Muir's wife, uh, had what they called a Muir light. And the men would help out. I remember Dick Turton for one, and we would go up to the junkyard and buy a windshield for five bucks. We'd bring four, six, ten home. We'd put them in a 50-gallon drum bag, bag after, we, after the women had a special paint, and they painted rainbow colors. And then they would hit the bag and smash it and all the glass pieces, and then they would glue it onto a goblet or something like that. And it made like a, like a Tiffany lamp it was. It was beautiful. Uh, we ran a Miss America pageant for Fosnot at one time, if those could remember. Uh, it was, it was uh, Art uh, uh, Dreisbach uh, was uh, his idea. And he had a big sombrero, about this big. And what he did, he had little peepholes he could see. So it rested on the shoulder here. So he painted circles around. And they were the eyes. And he had the belly button open. And I recorded, she'll be coming around the mountain whistling. And he went in and out whistling with the, uh, on that. And I was dressed as uh, uh, Shirley Temple. And uh, I sang on a good ship lollipop. And then, and then I had a, then I had a pen on, uh, on my finger with a balloon. And when we were done, I turned to the audience and burst the balloon and it says, thank you. I won. <laughs> and uh, uh, then we had the men's chorus. Who we, we got together and we had a Russian, most of the time we had a Russian, he was the, the, the leader of the group. And he loved us so much that when he passed away, he, he was buried in our men's chorus jacket and he belonged to a di different denomination. We went to visit ho uh, hospitals and convalescent homes. We had a last supper up at the altar. The men dressed up and represented the, the last supper. Uh, that's the things I remember. Those are the things that we all could have and we do have. Look at, look at the beginning of, uh, of our service of all the things that we're doing for the community and, and when we do it, we're doing them for ourselves. We have one of the largest buildings in town, historical buildings in town, not counting any high rises. It, it's, it, it's, it's a beacon in this, in this town. This could be used, God forbid, an emergency building. If there was, we, we wouldn't have been known for floods. We don't know what's in store. Hopefully the good Lord's good to us, but we have a building that we should, ma we should make sure we take care of. We make sure there's no leaks, make sure that we're, we're content, it's heated. So that's why I believe we should support this campaign, campaign, financial campaign, because these people built this church in the Depression, in 1929, in the Depression. So we have to struggle and make sure we could do it again. So if you want to get involved, we have a place for you. Thank you.